Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can get your character to use its magic abilities while it's moving and we're going to be doing this using layered animations because right now we only have one animation for the casting ability and that's only something that we can do while the character is not moving. Now this is really going to slow down the pace of the game and it just doesn't make things look great. So we are going to be blending our walk run blend space with our casting animations to do all of this. It's really simple and really easy to set up. So let's go ahead and show you how you can do it. So first things first, make sure you're using our magic character. We've done this for the sword character already and I'm just going to quickly show you what that looks like. So if I press play and then with this if I press 1 you can see I can swing my sword while I'm moving Bottom half is the walk run blend space, top half is our sword attack. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Go to window, make sure you have your world settings selected and just change your default pawn class to the magic character so you can see when you press play exactly what we're doing in terms of changes. Anyway, so with this done, go to your main blueprints folder and open up your magic character and open up eve underscore bp. Now the reason why we're going inside of this animation blueprint is because it contains all of the animation information and conditioning. It's pretty much the blueprint which tells the engine what animation to play, how to play it, and when to play it, and all of that good stuff. Now if we go down to the bottom you can see we've got one for casting one hand, and then another one for casting one hand combat. Now one of these is for throwing a projectile in the air, and the other one is for sticking the hand up in the air to do the heal ability. We need to apply this effect that we're about to do to both of these, but we're going to start off with casting one hand. Open this up, and then within here, you can see I've got my play casting one hand cast spell, and it looks a little bit like this. Now, we need to get the legs moving based on speed while it plays the top half of this animation. The way we're going to do this is by right clicking and typing in layered blend per bone and then just hooking this up just like this. Now the blend pose, you want to set this to your animation for your attack and then the base pose needs to be your blend space for walk running. Now if you go to the asset browser in the bottom right here, go to eve underscore bs, click, drag, drop and hook this up to the base pose just like this. Now with the blend spaces, they do need information for direction and speed. Having said that, get a reference to your direction, get a reference to your speed, and just hook it up in there just like that and we are all good. Now this is where the magic happens. With your layered blend per bone selected, within here we need to determine the upper and the lower half of our animation, blending between the base pose and the blend pose zero. So the way we're going to do this is go to our config, layer setup and add a branch filter and add an element pressing the little plus icon over here. Once you've done this, we need to define a blend bone uh, or a bone where it's going to be blending all of this stuff. Easiest way to do this is go to your skeleton and the one that I'm going to use is called spine 2. So essentially bottom half down from spine 2 is going to be the walk run blend space and anything above that, so the arms, is going to be our casting animation. That's how I'm going to separate this. So with this done, what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got the spelling 100% correct. It's spine 2 with a capital S. This is case sensitive, so make sure you keep that in mind. And then with this, go back in here, select your layered blend per bone, and just set your, uh, sorry, wrong character. And if we just go back into this Eve BP with the bone name to set this to spine 2, exactly how you saw it spelled a moment ago. For the blend depth, you want to set this to 1. And now with this, if we compile this, go to our Anim Preview Editor and turn up the speed to something like 400. And then with this, just press your casting 1H. And you can see while she's moving, her hand will go up in the air and that's all good. So what we need to do now then is pretty much just copy this and do it for the other magic ability and then tell it to stop disabling the movement as part of our gameplay code. It's really simple. So with this, go back to Eve states and then select the other one, the one in the bottom right here, casting one hand combat. 
Once again, we're going to right click and type in layered blend per bone. Hook this up from the asset browser. Make sure you grab your eve underscore bs, the blend space. Hook that up to your base pose. And then your blend pose is going to be your attacking animation. And then with this, get a reference to direction and hook it up into your blend space. Get a reference to your speed and then hook this up to your blend space. And then with the layered blend per bone selected, add a branch filter. Bone name is going to be spine 2. Once again, making sure you spell that correctly. And then just set your blend depth to 1. Now that we've done this, we are all good to go. I'm going to quickly test this. Press casting one hand combat down in the anim preview editor. Click it. Make sure my speed is set to 400. And you can see she's still going to use this ability while she is moving, which is quite nice. Now, if you do, quite, do take a look here, you can see the animation is a little bit off. It's not throwing the projectile forwards. So we need to do something for that. Now, what we're going to do is just try and check mesh space rotation see if that does anything making sure you compile and you can see now we've done this it's going to make sure it keeps the rotation in mind and it's going to throw forwards that projectile in just the way that we want it to so moving on let's close all of this animation stuff and then from this we are going to open up our main magic character blueprint and we're simply going to tell it to stop disabling the movement so ability 2, find this disable input at disable movement and stop movement, just delete these and then just hook this up just as it would have been without it. And then back over at the end here where we're setting the movement mode, simply just delete this and hook this up into here. And now we also want to find our code for the first ability, so we've done it for ability 1. So all we got to do is just find it amongst our blueprints. So you can see we've got heal up here. From the heal, if we just go over, stop it disabling the movement, delete both of those, and just hook it up as if it wasn't there. Same thing goes at the end. Just delete this set movement mode, hook it up once again as if it wasn't there, hit compile, and now that we've done this, if we go ahead and press 1, you can use your heal while you're moving, and that's all good. Press number 2, you can throw your projectile while you're moving as well, which is pretty cool. And you're going to see it's going to make your combat a lot better. You can move, you can shoot projectiles, and it just looks absolutely great. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy, Virtus. Signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.